Hey guys, so today I've got a nice tutorial, something that I think, you know, is quite acceptable for a lot of games, and most primarily it might be seen in such games like Call of Duty and stuff like that, where you don't really have a persistent health bar or anything like that, you more have an actual visual element, um, um, most commonly I'd say used in FPS games where you see a sort of a blurring or a red sort of bloodshot effect around the side of your screen, so... It's actually all the codes in the background, and it manages it like that. It doesn't have to put any um, specific GUIs for taking health down. We'll start off, and all I've got in my scene is a plane with some grass texture. I've got a torch, which is just going to be my um, fire to symbolise when you get hurt. And that's just from the simple particle pack, which you can download from the um, Unity Asset Store. Um, I've got a first-person controller, which is tagged player. And I've got a directional light. Now, what I want to start off with doing is actually I'll add an, a cube, and I'll put this with my actual fire. So I'll just quickly move it down, and I'll scale it up. So it's going to act as our collider. But really, for this portion of the thing, I'll just get rid of the mesh renderer. So we don't have a mesh render anymore. So we'll make it bigger, so we'll, we can definitely walk into that. We'll make sure it is triggered, because when we walk into it, we're going to want to um, actually trigger something that happens, and we can only do that with that, so we'll name this, maybe. Damage trigger, just so we know what we're talking about. And that's pretty much it for now. So we're going to really, we're going to need to um, write a new script. So if we want to do, we're going to create a Jarvis, we'll call it fading health or something like that just anything you want doesn't really matter so double click it open up mono develop mono develop pops up now and what we're gonna do i'll just get rid of these because we're gonna we're gonna need a few variables what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a set of actual this is dependent on how many images you actually have for your damage so what we're gonna have is for image textures so text one and we're gonna set that to a texture and what we're going to do is copy that and paste oops and paste it three other times so then we're going to name it text 2 text 3 text 4 and i'll just quickly save that out so what i'm going to actually do you know to um make this visible on the gui is i've actually made some hurt images so you could see here um that's hurt 100% that's hurt 70%, that's hurt 30%, and that's just normal. And all these were created in Photoshop. If you want to know how to make something like these, because they all have a transparent background, and with the transparent background, if you didn't have it, you know, you'd just see white over the screen, and that'd be no good. And you just want to set all your texture types to a GUI, because they're not a texture, they're just on screen, so they need to be as um, normal resolution. So we'll go back into the script now. What we'll do is we're going to create another variable called health and we're going to set that to a float and we're going to set it to 100 then we're going to have two private variables one called max health and set that to float again and that will be equal to 100 and then we're going to have another private variable called enter collider because this is going to test whether we've actually entered the collider and we're going to set it to boolean and say it's false to begin with so there we go we've got all our variables set up so i'm just gonna seeing as though this is more of a, a long script um, i'm just going to add some comments so you can go back if you need to so this is going to be our damage collider so we're going to write function on trigger enter open up our brackets and you can name this whatever. I'll just put call as for my collider. Collider, and then I want to open up my curly brackets, and I want to put if call dot game object dot tag is equal to player. Then if we open up our curly brackets again. We can put enter collider is equal to, oops, is equal to true. 
and we've got enter collider up at the top here so that's just our boolean that we've set so if we actually oh I put that a capital if we actually enter the collider what it's going to set is it's going to set enter to collider to true if you need to test this you can write something like debug dot log and then open up your brackets and say is inside collider and put a semicolon at the end we'll save that out I'll go back to unity and if I go to my damage trigger and add the script what I'll do is I press play I'll go towards this and you'll notice that when I've actually gone inside the collider so it is inside collider so that's okay for now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a function on trigger exit so I'm creating these trigger enter and exit is you'll go inside the um, trigger enter and it'll equal true when you're taking damage and when you exit you won't take damage anymore so what I'll do is coll call collider just like what we had before open up the curly brackets and what we can do is just copy what we had there and paste it here so I'll take I'll take that away, that away, I need to add my curly bracket, so if that we want to set it to false now. So when we enter that collider, enter collider is true, if we exit that collider that we've set, then enter collider is false. This doesn't do anything until we actually call the enter collider. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to actually write something in our update function so we're going to write up function update two brackets then if we add two curly brackets what we're going to say is that if health is greater than zero and then we need the two and and enter collider is equal is set to true then what we're going to do is health minus equals time dot delta time which means that if the health is greater than zero so when you're not pretty much dead and the collider equals true and you're actually in the collider then health which is set to 100 will just count down and time dot delta time just means it'll count down in seconds um, then I'll put a little tag here so you know what I'm talking about I'll put health countdown whilst in the damage collider and then we're gonna just create a couple of line breaks we're gonna put if health is greater than or equal is greater than or equal to zero um, and the double and enter collider is set to false then we'll put two more curly brackets in and we'll say health plus equals time dot oh make sure it's capital time dot delta time which and we'll call we'll say this is normal health regeneration so when we're not in the actual hurt the hurt collider and it's set to false our health regenerates like it would do in call of duty and things like that because when you're not taking damage you're getting healed or you just health is regenerating and then we need to actually set something to make sure that health never goes beyond a certain point so it never heals so say our health set to 100 if we didn't have max health we could actually it could go on to you know hundreds of thousands and we don't want that so then we'll say if health is greater than max health then health is equal to max health and all that means is as it as it seems to say is 
if your health ever gets greater than the max health so if 100 and it ever goes past 100 then we'll just set the health to be equal to whatever max health is um, and we'll put a little comment on here to say that when health reaches 100 um, we want to just set to max health which is quite simple and what we're going to do now is going to actually add the GUI elements that will appear on screen. So we can write function on GUI. Oh, well we need to make sure that's capitals for GUI. Add the, bra the brackets at the beginning and then add my curly brackets and say if health is less than or equal to 100 say, then we'll say add the curly brackets in between gui dot draw texture we'll put rect and then we'll put zero zero we write screen dot width comma screen dot height then we'll close that bracket put a comma and say text one and close that and close the actual um, semicolon off so what it means is if the health is less than a certain amount it will actually just draw the GUI that we set as texture 1 to it so what we're going to do is we're going to copy we're going to actually copy this and we're just going to paste it a few more times so in there in there in there and then what we can say is if health is less than or equal to 90, 95 here or is it less than 90 or less than 85 then what we'll do is we'll change the textures accordingly you can keep all the code the same but only these bits are actually changing so we've got these so on GUI works like this because you normally put it in update function because function updates every frame but GUI does this as well Oop. but one thing I did forget before we do anything is make sure you've got a comma here because when I start adding loads of commas I start getting a little bit confused with what I've added so we save this out then we can go into Unity. We'll go into Unity. And on our damage trigger, we need to add our hurt images. So the first text one we set to whatever was normal. Text two, we go 30%. Text three, 70%. And then fully hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that maximize on play is not ticked so when we play the game we can see this side so as you can see when we play the game health is set to 100 nothing's um, appeared now if we go towards this fire and inside the trigger you'll notice that health starts going down it's less than 95 you'll notice that um, the um, health you know, the GUIs are appearing less than 85 you get more and so on and if we walk away out of the collider you'll notice health goes back up health regenerates now you can make this dependent on you can make this you know the health is 10 and it counts down for 10 seconds or something similar to that but as I say when we get to 100 it's normal but now it's counted down again counting up so that's pretty much it that just shows you how to make um, a simple sort of fading health system simply like you would in sort of any game that you'd find with that sort of system so thanks very much for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers